Hey everyone, it's your girl Paris and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Paris. <laughs> so in today's video, I am in a different room. As you can tell, I am in my bedroom. Because in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to style and decorate your bedding. Designing and styling your bed can bring so much joy to you and happiness. I love my bed. Every time I look at my bed, it brings a smile to my face. So not only is it visually pleasing to the eye, but it literally brings me inner happiness and peace and calm. And that is the whole point of designing and styling your bed to your liking. Now, a majority of my bedding decor came from regular stores that you shop at all the time, most likely. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you all shop at Home Goods, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx. And I also shop at Wayfair.com. The first thing that you want to make sure that you keep in mind and you check off your list is your color scheme and your aesthetic. That can be the hardest part, but you know what you like. You know the style that makes you happy. For me, I like more of a clean, polished look with a pop of color, a subtle pop of color, which is my green accent pillows. Now, there are so many aesthetics out there. You can have modern, where you have like blacks and whites and grays. You can have um, a neutral aesthetic, where you have creams, whites, browns, and grays. And then, you may have a very colorful, a very vibrant aesthetic, where you have purples and very deep, textures and bright colors so once you have that down i promise you it's so much easier and i am big on designing and styling your home you may wonder why is that so important i think it's so important because it's going to bring you inner happiness and make you enjoy your home even more you're going to not only fall in love with your home but your home is going to reflect you it's a reflection of you so I hope you all stay tuned until the very end and we're getting into the video and wrapping this intro up. All right, let's jump into it. Okay, everybody. So the very first technique that I am going to be sharing is the comforter set that I have chosen. So as you can see, the comforter set is my base color and I chose a white comforter set. And if you come in a little bit closer, you can see that this comforter set has a beautiful pattern to it. And it feels so, so, so good. Now, the reason why I chose a white comforter set, because I want to have my pillows as my accent colors. I did not want to have a lot going on with the comforter set because I didn't want it to be too busy. I wanted to keep with that polished and very clean cut look. So that is why I chose a neutral or white color comforter set. I do recommend that if you want to bring color in through your pillows. One last thing about this comforter set. I got it at the store. I think this one came from TJ Maxx. And it is a very hot comforter set. I tell you all, I promise, <laughs> this comforter set is like being under a heating pad. So I do not recommend a very hot comforter set in the summertime. So you play around with it. You may have a comforter set for the winter time, the summertime. Just depending on how hot that comforter set um, can get, you'll, you'll know. And just play around with different stores and different prices. This was very affordable. Um, it was under a hundred dollars, so you don't have to go crazy with these prices Definitely you can find a good comforter set for under a hundred dollars. Okay, so for my second technique and recommendation Are my pillows the pillows are a great accent piece and you want to have different size pillows It's going to elevate and add even more dimension and style to your bed pillows are the beauty of the bed and it's very pleasing to the eye so I'm just going to show you 
my pillows and just give a quick rundown of what I have going on. So, if you come a little closer, I have my actual sleeping pillows in the very back. They do not play a role in decorating the bed at all. So obviously, when I get in bed, all these pillows are going to be placed on the floor and my sleeping pillows are right here. The pillowcase is Tommy Hilfiger. And I love that they have their logo right there. They're very good quality. Love those. And they came from TJ Maxx. Okay, so for my second layer of pillows, I have the actual pillow sham that came with the comforter set. So just keep in mind that it's literally the same design, pattern, and color. So if you're not familiar with a pillow sham, it's literally going to be an empty vessel. So you're going to buy a pillow, an actual pillow, which can come from any store, Target, Walmart, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and you're going to stuff the pillow into the pillow sham. So you may have to do some quick measurement because you want to make sure that the actual pillow fits you know, correctly into the pillow sham. So that's basically all you have to do to fill out your pillow sham and it's beautiful. Very simple, very inexpensive to complete. All right, now these are my statement pillows. If you come right. a little closer, you can see the texture of the pillow. And these are from Wayfair. I am in love with these pillows and I fell in love with them when I saw them on the Wayfair website because of how, I guess, extra they are. And when I say extra, they're huge, they're big, they're a statement piece. They're very, um, please into the eye when you first walk into my bedroom and I just had to have them what I'm going to do <laughs> I'm going to measure them because when you're decorating and styling your bed you may need a measuring tape so I am going to measure this pillow Okay, after measuring this pillow, it's about 24 by 24. And when you're designing and decorating, keep in mind that your pillows, I definitely recommend your pillows being a different um, size because that's going to add even more, mm, the more design feature to your bed. If Wayfair still has these on their website, I definitely will link them because they had so many different colors and they were very affordable. And this is also, before I move on to these pillows, these were also a pillow sham. You would have to ensure that you fill the pillow sham with an actual pillow. So these are nice and filled with actual pillows that I had previously um, from another room. So, there we are with those. And I just purchased two of these as well. Okay, everybody, I just wanted to add this into the video really quick. Pillow sham, what you want to do is just like the white pillow sham I showed you. For this one, you're going to unzip it and voila! <laughs> I'm not going to go into too much detail, but just know these are older pillows that I had and literally I just stuffed the pillow sham with these pillows. Okay, that is the magic to it all. You're going to zip it back up very carefully. And there you go. <laughs> that is how you stuff a pillow sham and you would never know that you did that. I'll put it back over here in its place. All right. Now we are descending. We are going down <laughs> to my next layer of pillows. And as you can see, this is a grayish toned pillow and it's a bit smaller than the green pillow. And I did that intentionally. And I chose this gray because that was my color scheme. 
I knew my colors in this room were going to be green, gray, and white. Very simple. And these were purchased, I believe, from like Home Goods or TJ Maxx. And they were very inexpensive. And as you can see, the color palette matches. Gray goes with green. This gray could go with so many different other colors. I have them a little spaced apart on an angle. Last but not least, we have the last pillow. And this pillow came from, I believe, Home Goods Marshalls. And I like it because it has a very pretty texture to it. I wish I was better at explaining textures, but as you can see, it has a nice color green, more like a forest green, I would describe it. And then it has the cream lines to it. And that is very nice against the white comforter set, as well as the pillows right behind it. All your pillows do not have to be the same size and shape. You can definitely have circular pillows, square pillows, huge pillows, smaller pillows. Just don't be afraid of design and style. I also wanted to say, if I haven't already, pillows are the beauty of the bed in my opinion because they are very eye-catching and they just add to your aesthetic. If you want to play around with even more pillows, I wouldn't be opposed to adding a third pillow the same pillow but a third one here that would be okay too or if you wanted to get like a circular pillow or a rectangular pillow but maybe like something a little smaller that could work too so the more pillows the merrier <laughs> I'm not mad at it but I am just in love with the ones that I have chosen and in the future if I do choose to switch it up a little bit I can just literally buy pillow shams for these two pillows this pillow and I can just even remove this pillow sham in order to just replace it if I want to do like a different color scheme. When you see the pillow that you think would go great with your bed, purchase it. Try it out. Now I do recommend saving your receipt so when you do get home and you decide to put everything together, you're playing around with your bedding and the pillows, you may not like it and that's okay. Okay, we are almost at the end of today's video. And I am going to show you my blanket. This is a charcoal gray blanket and this came from Macy's. I'm going to actually show you why I decided to get this blanket. Now, if I remove this blanket, just look at the difference of the bed. It just makes it so much more ordinary. Like it's so much more plainer. It just makes it look too white. It's too much white showing for me. You know what I mean? So in order to add more dimension, elevated style, purchase a blanket. So to add this blanket onto my bed, I'm literally going to fold it once. I'm going to fold it with the plain side not showing and you're going to fold it once. What I like to do is have the opening at the end of the bed. So once you fold it, you're going to literally just throw it on your bed. So just like that, you are elevating your bed even more by adding more dimension and more color to the end of your bed. It was just too much white before for me. And this charcoal gray is just so pretty. And it adds a layer of warmth too. So a very important design tip is to tuck the end of your comfort set. A lot of hotels are going to tuck their comfort set underneath their mattress now do you see the difference like look how that looks it just looks so unpolished i don't like the way it looks 
because it's just not neat. I like my bed to look very polished and clean cut. And this is very simple. You literally are going to tuck the comforter set under the mattress. You see how I did that in a few seconds? So you're literally just going to tuck it. Make sure you have it nice and tight. And just like that, it makes such a huge difference in how polished and clean cut your bedding can look. I definitely recommend doing that each and every time that you make your bed. Hey everybody, before I close out today's video, I just have to add a few more recommendations. And if you're wondering, my bed is in the style of a sleigh bed and I absolutely love it. As you can tell, I love gray. <laughs> it is a charcoal gray, but it is a little bit lighter than the, than the um, blanket. So it is a bit lighter, but I still consider it a darker gray. And I've had this bed for a few years now, and it's great. I love this sleigh bed. And when you're choosing a bed, just take a good look at the design elements. As you can see, the design elements of this bed, to me, that's very classy and it's very timeless. This bed, to me, will not go out of style. It's very long lasting and very durable. So I love it. Okay, everybody. So, of course, I did not want to end the video without talking about the very end of my bed and the decor that I have chosen. And they are two beautiful ottomans from Target. And these ottomans were purchased years ago, but you would have never noticed. They are very timeless. They're a timeless piece. And come to find out, they match my bedding and the style and aesthetic in my bedroom beautifully. So I chose to put the ottomans at the end of my bed just again to add that next layer of style. I just like it. I just think that it works. So as you can tell, it is in the green family, but it's more so like a yellow mustard color. And that's okay. Like I said, you do not have to have the same color throughout your whole bedding decor. As long as it's in like the family, it makes sense, then you're good. And they're also very functional because I can sit down. <laughs> very functional. So yeah, ottomans are right there. I had an extra silver pillow. So I wasn't too sure if I liked it on my bed. I mean, what do you all think? I don't think it kind of worked out. So I just chose to put this circular pillow on the ottoman for no reason i just thought that it looked good so so if you made it to the very end of today's video thank you thank you so so very much and i just hope that you found my techniques and recommendations very helpful just remember design and styling your home does not have to be crazy expensive it can be done on a budget um research go to pinterest go to hgtv.com if you're undecided on the type of aesthetic you want but i promise you once you take the time to do your research you'll know and it doesn't have to be done overnight everything that you see on my bed was not selected during the same day <laughs> literally my blanket was found weeks after my pillows were found the comforter set, I believe, was the very first thing that I saw. And that's kind of like what gave me that idea and inspo of what I wanted everything to look like. So again, keep all that in mind and message me, comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye! Alright, I'm out.